Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is showing you what's new in Photoshop CS6 and how to use it. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you the crop tool. And the crop tool is fairly simple like before but there's a few new added features that make it a quite a bit easier to use. So to get to the crop tool like always press C or go over here and then your options are on the top as always. Uh, the first thing you'll notice with the crop tool when you start using it is things sort of seem to run backwards until you get used to how it works. When you move the corner tabs, the image moves instead of the crop box. So the crop box always stays centered on the image. Also, when you grab the image, instead of the crop box moving, the image in the background moves. And then my favorite feature with the new crop tool is this delete cropped pixels button. In Photoshop CS5, uh, when you cropped an image, it would always delete the pixels. But now if I say yes, and this is unchecked, the pixels are still there. So if I try and resize the image again, recrop it, you can see the original image reappears and I can start from the beginning. And another really nice feature with this, if I save my image as a TIFF file like this, and I'll save another example as a JPEG file, and close this one, and I'll open these two files up in Photoshop again. And now if we go back to the crop tool, on my JPEG and I try and enlarge it. Of course, it's going to just show blank pixels because there's no information there. However, if I go over to the TIFF file and try and enlarge it, you can see the original file still shows up. So, so the original image is saved. And this also works if you save it as a PSD file. Essentially, when you save an image uh, in a way that preserves all the layers, then you will also get this preserving the crop. One other little feature they added to the crop tool is this straighten. They had a straighten button before, but it wasn't integrated in the crop tool. So now if you just press the straighten button, you can just drag along your horizon and it'll straighten it up for you. And that one is about as simple as that. And the final new feature with the crop tool is if you click and hold on the crop tool button, you'll get a few other options. And this perspective crop tool is new. It is sort of like the lens correction tool mixed in with the crop tool. And if we draw select our whole image, we can then uh, bend down one corner and then it'll warp our image and make it square again to correct the perspective in our image. So this would be good for some quick cropping of a architecture photo or something like that. All right, and that's it. Head over to tutorvid.com for more tutorials on Photoshop CS6.